Have you ever gone to bed feeling fine, only to wake up the next morning with swollen ankles, foggy energy, or the strange urge to rush to the bathroom before the sun's even up? You might think it's just aging. You might brush it off as stress or bad sleep. But what if I told you the real culprit might be sitting on your dinner plate quietly damaging your kidneys? Night after night. Hi, I'm Dr. Johnny. And after more than two decades helping seniors across the U.S., there's one silent mistake I see far too often, and it happens after dinner. You see, your kidneys don't get to sleep when you do. They're your body's natural filters, working tirelessly to clean your blood. But after age 60, they don't work quite as fast. And the truth is, certain foods, even the ones that seem healthy, can overload your kidneys at the worst possible time when your body is supposed to be resting, healing, and restoring overnight. If you're waking up puffy, tired, with strange changes in your urine or constant nighttime trips to the bathroom, it might not be age. It might be inflammation. It might be toxins your kidneys are too overwhelmed to remove. And most shockingly, it might be coming from the foods you eat just hours before bed. In today's video, I'll reveal seven surprisingly common dinner foods that could be quietly increasing your creatinine levels and accelerating kidney damage without you ever realizing it. Some of them are sitting in your fridge right now, so if you care about your energy, your sleep, and your long-term kidney health, stay with me. Because what's coming next might surprise you more than you think. Let's start with one of the most convenient and most quietly dangerous foods in your kitchen, instant noodles and packaged soups. They might seem harmless. They're cheap. They're easy. And after a long day, tossing a packet into hot water feels like the perfect way to wind down. But for your kidneys, it's a nightly nightmare. Here's why. These quick meals are loaded with sodium, artificial additives, and preservatives that can throw your kidney function into chaos. Just one bowl of instant noodles can contain more than double your daily salt limit. And when you flood your body with sodium at night, the exact time your kidneys are trying to slow down and recover, you force them into overdrive instead. The result, you wake up bloated, stiff, or with swollen feet. You might notice more frequent urination during the night or a strange heaviness in your lower back. Over time, this hidden strain adds up, raising your creatinine levels and accelerating kidney decline without any warning signs. And it's not just noodles. Packaged soups, especially powdered or canned, often contain chemical flavor enhancers that are hard for your kidneys to filter, especially in people over 60. What starts as a quick fix can slowly become a hidden threat to your long-term health. If you love warm comfort foods at night, you don't have to give them up entirely. Just switch to homemade soups made with fresh herbs, real vegetables, and low-sodium broth. Your kidneys and your sleep will thank you. But sodium isn't the only villain here. Because next, we're talking about something that hits even harder foods that spike your blood sugar and silently wear down your kidneys from the inside out. After sodium overload, there's another hidden threat that sneaks into your evenings, wearing a sweet disguise ice cream and sugary desserts. For many seniors, that little scoop of vanilla or slice of cake after dinner feels like comfort, a reward, a habit. But inside your body, that sugar bomb is doing something far less comforting. Sugary treats cause a spike in blood sugar, which forces your kidneys to filter harder and faster. And when blood sugar stays elevated, especially overnight, it begins to damage the tiny blood vessels in your kidneys, slowly reducing their ability to function. Over time, this can lead to higher creatinine levels, protein in your urine, and even diabetic kidney disease. But there's more. Many of these desserts, like ice cream, are also loaded with phosphorus and saturated fats. Phosphorus builds up in the blood when kidneys are weak, damaging bones and blood vessels. And excess fats contribute to inflammation, heart strain, and disrupted sleep, all of which make it harder for your body to heal at night. And here's the kicker. These effects often show up not as sharp pain or clear symptoms, but as vague problems, morning fatigue, swelling in the face, or poor sleep that you chalk up to age. 
But underneath the damage is stacking up. If your sweet tooth is calling, try swapping in a small piece of fresh fruit earlier in the evening, like a pear slice or a few berries. Natural sugar, when timed right, can satisfy your cravings without sabotaging your kidneys. But sugar isn't the only thing silently harming your kidneys. Because next, we'll look at a food that pretends to be satisfying, yet leaves a toxic trail behind every time you eat it, even in small amounts. If sugar was the silent whisper, then this next food is the ticking time bomb, loud in flavor, but even louder in long-term damage. I'm talking about processed meats like sausages, bacon, and deli slices. They may taste satisfying, smoky, salty, rich, but beneath that flavor lies a minefield for your kidneys. These meats are often packed with preservatives, nitrates, and extremely high levels of salt. And if you're eating them after dinner, you're asking your kidneys to process a chemical storm when they're supposed to be winding down. Instead of resting, your kidneys are forced to break down purines compounds that turn into uric acid, a waste product that's filtered by your kidneys that adds stress, inflammation, and, over time, accelerates kidney fatigue. Even just a few slices of ham or hot dog links can push your daily sodium far beyond healthy limits. And those nitrates, they've been linked to long-term vascular damage, including to the delicate filtration network inside your kidneys. Pair that with poor hydration or existing kidney issues, and you've got a perfect storm brewing in silence. It's easy to overlook because processed meats feel normal. They're in breakfast plates, party platters, quick dinners. But normal doesn't mean harmless, especially not after age 60, when your kidneys have already spent a lifetime working overtime. If you still enjoy meat, switch to lean, home-cooked chicken or fish, seasoned with herbs instead of heavy salts or sauces and keep it earlier in the day. Give your kidneys the break they desperately need. But not all dangers come from meat. In fact, the next food on our list is often seen as healthy, even gourmet. Yet it clogs your kidneys in a much quieter, creamier way. You might not think of cheese or creamy sauces as dangerous. After all, they're comforting, familiar. A little shredded cheddar over your veggies, a splash of Alfredo on your pasta, it feels like a small indulgence. But for aging kidneys, cheese and cream-based sauces are a heavy burden wrapped in softness. Cheese is packed with sodium, saturated fat, and phosphorus, a trio of ingredients that puts intense pressure on your kidneys, especially at night. When you eat cheesy meals before bed, you're flooding your system with substances that are difficult to filter and slow to break down. Your kidneys don't get to rest, they stay active, trying to manage this load long after you've fallen asleep. Creamy sauces only make things worse, often made with butter, dairy, and thickening agents. They slow digestion, disrupt hormonal balance, and keep your entire system, including your kidneys, in a low-grade state of tension throughout the night. And if you've ever experienced bloating, restless leg, or leg cramps in the middle of the night, these rich sauces might be playing a hidden role. Many seniors associate these foods with satisfaction, reward, or warmth. But when your kidneys are already slowing down with age, these rewards become risks. That sluggish, swollen feeling in the morning. It might be last night's cheese sauce still echoing through your system. If you want the comfort without the cost, Try replacing creamy dishes with steamed veggies, olive oil dressings, or broth-based flavors. You'll feel lighter, sleep deeper, and give your kidneys a true chance to recover. And speaking of foods that feel innocent but leave damage behind, the next one is especially tricky because it's often found in so-called healthy diets and yet it's packed with minerals your kidneys may struggle to handle. Let's talk about a food group that often gets labeled as super healthy and in many ways it is. Beans, lentils, and legumes are full of plant protein, fiber, and nutrients. But when it comes to aging kidneys, there's a hidden side to these foods that's rarely discussed. You see, beans and lentils are naturally high in potassium and phosphorus, two minerals that your kidneys are responsible for balancing. 
When your kidneys are strong and youthful, that's no problem. But after age 60, filtration slows down. And when these minerals build up in your bloodstream, they can cause serious issues from irregular heart rhythms to bone loss and even itchy skin. Eating these legumes late in the day only makes it harder. At night, your kidneys naturally reduce activity, focusing on repair rather than processing. So when you load up on a bean-heavy dinner, you're unintentionally adding weight to an already tired system. You might not feel it immediately, but over time, the signs creep in bloating, restless sleep, gas, swelling in the hands or feet. And here's the trap because beans seem like a smart choice. Many people eat them thinking they're doing the right thing, but timing matters just as much as content for aging kidneys. When you eat is often as important as what you eat. Try shifting your bean-based meals to lunchtime. When your kidneys are more active and better equipped to handle the load, you'll feel lighter by night and your kidneys will thank you. But now we shift from plant protein to something even heavier, not just in nutrients, but in sheer metabolic demand. Because next, we're talking about red meat and how it pushes your kidneys to the brink every single time. Now let's talk about something that's not only heavier on your plate, but even heavier on your kidneys. Red meat, whether it's beef, lamb, or a thick cut roast is one of the most metabolically demanding foods your body processes. And after 60, the effects become harder to ignore. Here's the truth. Red meat is packed with protein. And when protein breaks down in the body, it produces urea and creatinine waste products that your kidneys are responsible for filtering out. In moderation and at the right time of day, that's manageable. But when you eat heavy meat dishes at night, you're asking your kidneys to do overtime during their natural recovery hours. What does that look like in real life? You might feel sluggish in the morning. You might notice heaviness in your belly, swelling in your hands or ankles, or a foggy kind of fatigue that doesn't lift. These aren't random signs. They're subtle red flags that your kidneys are falling behind. Red meat is also high in inflammatory compounds, iron, and saturated fat, which can raise blood pressure, damage blood vessels, and further exhaust already strained kidneys. And the impact builds not overnight, but night after night. The good news is, you don't have to give up meat completely. Try enjoying small portions of lean red meat at lunch instead of dinner. And for the evening meal, Shift toward lighter proteins like fish, tofu, or plant-based options that are easier to process. But even red meat isn't the final word. Because the next and final food on our list is deceptively simple. It's cheap, easy, and found in nearly every home. Yet it may be doing the most silent damage of all. You might not expect this one especially since fermented foods have become so popular in recent years. But if you're eating pickles, kimchi, or fermented vegetables after dinner, your kidneys might be paying the price. These foods are often praised for their probiotic benefits, and that's not entirely wrong. They can support gut health. But for people over 60, especially those watching their creatinine levels, the bigger issue is sodium. Pickled and fermented vegetables are usually loaded with salt, used both for flavor and preservation. And when you consume too much sodium late in the day, it doesn't just raise your blood pressure, it disrupts the kidney's natural nighttime rhythm. Instead of winding down, your kidneys stay active, trying to balance the salt levels in your blood. That extra work can lead to water retention, puffiness in your legs and face, and even increased nighttime urination which interrupts your sleep and slows down recovery even further. Over time, the sodium overload from these healthy snacks adds up. What seems like a crunchy, Tangy bite could be silently contributing to kidney strain, high blood pressure, and worsening creatinine levels without any immediate symptoms. If you enjoy pickles or fermented vegetables, the key is timing and portion. Enjoy them earlier in the day, in small amounts, and always hydrate well to help your kidneys flush out the excess. Because here's the bigger truth. It's not just one food. It's the daily rhythm of what, when, and how you eat, especially after 60, that determines whether your kidneys stay resilient or start to slip.
And in just a moment, we'll wrap it all together with one powerful, kidney-saving shift you can make tonight. So now we've uncovered them, the seven foods that might seem harmless, even healthy, but quietly strain your kidneys night after night. From salty instant noodles and sugary desserts, to processed meats, cheesy sauces, heavy red meats, and even beans and pickles, each one adds its own layer of stress. Not all at once, but slowly, silently, repeatedly. And that's the real danger, not the food itself, but the routine. Eating the wrong things at the wrong time creates a perfect storm. Your kidneys can't keep up with, especially after age 60 when their strength naturally declines. So what now? What small but powerful step can you take, starting tonight, to break the cycle and support your kidney health for the long run. At the end of the day, your kidneys don't ask for much. They work quietly, around the clock, filtering waste, balancing fluids, protecting your body from the inside out without ever making a sound. But after age 60, those quiet filters become more fragile. And what you eat after dinner, it matters more than you think. Avoiding just these seven foods at night, the ones we've covered today, can help you wake up feeling clearer, lighter, and more energized. Small shifts in your routine can make a big difference. Eating earlier, choosing lighter meals, swapping out salty, sugary, or heavy dishes for simple, kidney-friendly options. It's not about perfection. It's about giving your body the space to heal, one evening at a time. If you've been dealing with swelling, fatigue, sleep disruption, or rising creatinine levels, I want you to know you're not alone and you're not powerless. You have options, you have control, and it starts with the choices you make tonight. So do yourself a favor, save this video, and come back to it anytime you need a reminder. Share it with someone you love who might need to hear this. And don't forget to subscribe because every week, we share science-backed tips and gentle, practical advice to help you care for your kidneys and your health as you age. Your body may be changing, but your power to protect it is still strong. You've got this, and we're here, walking with you every step of the way. Stay kind to your kidneys. Stay kind to yourself. And until next time, take care, rest well, and keep choosing better.